Reverberatory furnace is a furnace that is used for smelting or refining of ore, in which the fuel is not in direct contact with the ore, but heat the ore by a flame blown over it from another chamber. It isolates the material that is treated from contact with the fuel, but not with the combustion gases. It is mainly used for the extraction of copper, tin, aluminum, and nickel metals. Also used in the production of certain concretes and cements. They're widely used in recycling of aluminum scraps. The earliest records of the reverberatory furnace was during the Middle Age, when it was used to melt bronze for casting bells. However, numerous technical innovation over the years improved the production capacity of the furnace through change in material construction. This yielded better production capacities, and in the following decades, it was widely adopted for smelting other metals apart from copper, although its basic construction remained the same throughout the innovation. The reverberator furnace is being replaced by newer furnace, such as flash furnace, etc. Parts of the reverberatory furnace. Ancient reverberatory furnace comprises two single chimney dome shaped furnaces that are heated by a charcoal grill that reverberates against the roof and sides of the furnace. Today, reverberatory furnace is a rectangular steel box lined with castables or refractory bricks with non-wetting qualities. At one end, there is a vertically rising door and the conventional oil or gas burners are placed on either side of the furnace to heat the brick. A pouring spout and the exhaust gas duct are located opposite the burners. The roofs are made of refractory bricks which is durable and helps to generate higher temperature, which aid faster refining. Working principle of a reverberatory furnace. In a reverberatory furnace, the heat passes over the hearth which contains the ore. The primary method of heat transfer is through radiation from the refractory bricks used in the wall and roof. Additional heat is also supplied from the burner. The roof of the furnace is slightly arched slanted towards the direction of the flue bridges for further deflection of the reverberatory flame. The ore mixture is heated continuously until it melts. The molten metal is collected in the hearth, which is made dense and thick, such that the impure molten metal cannot penetrate it. The wall are made of strong material that can withstand any chemical attack from the slag. The mixture is continuously heated and tapped at regular intervals and the eventual bath of molten metal is then poured into a converter to produce ingot for further processing. In steel making, this process which is outdated is called the open hearth process. Advantages of reverberatory furnace 1. High volume processing rate 2. Low maintenance and operating cost Disadvantages of reverberatory furnace 1. Large floor space requirement 2. Low efficiency 3. High rate of metal oxidation.